Hey guys, Radical here. Well, it appears we have a cop watcher slash auditor who came across the Pillsbury Doughboy Cop. And the channel name is Peoria Community Watch. It's sort of a new channel. He's got 155 subs. I'm going to click this subscribe button. He's now got 156. So I'm going to do a little clip for you. Let you guys check it out and see what you think. Be sure to put it in, in the comment section below. And I'm going to do my reaction after the clip. So roll the clip. You're free to leave, sir. You check my license. You check. You check my license plate. You see the vehicle's perfectly registered. You have nothing on me, bro. Right. Go check him. Does he have a legal tent? Go check him. Do I have a legal tent? He's driving. I'm not. You have no reason to come up to me. I'm sitting in the fucking park. I'm not doing anything wrong. Did you provide me with your fishing license? Do I have to? Am I fishing? Am I fishing? Look at look, you see the poles? We got four poles and none of them are casted. I'm not fishing. You have nothing on me, dude. I don't know why you're steady trying to fucking violate my rights. I'm a grown ass man out here fishing. I'm a grown ass man out on the road driving, and for some reason you want to come up to me and treat me like some little fucking boy. I just, I just don't get it. I I really don't, man. Alright. So here's where we're at. Alright. You're gonna provide me your driver's license. Okay. Uh, are you going to arrest me if I do not? I am. You are going to arrest me if yes. I do not? Oh, so you're going to physically put your hands on me? Yes. Go ahead and provide me your driver's license. And if I don't, you're going to arrest me? Yes. Okay. What if I don't have it? If you don't have it, you have to have some other form of identification. And for what? You were required to have For what? Driving. I am not driving, dude. I am not you driving. Right this moment, correct. I don't have, you can't pull me over if I'm not fucking driving or if I'm not doing anything wrong. What do you have on me? I am not doing anything. At this time. What are you going to do if I don't? I really would like your supervisor, please, before you come another step closer. I would like your supervisor. You don't so, have that option. What do you mean I don't have that option? I just told you, you do not have that option. You get to speak to me, you're going to hand me your driver's license. Is anybody else on their way here? Multiples. No, not on your side. <laughs> I'm live right now. Good. Please give me your driver's license as I requested, or I'm going to place you under arrest. I'm not dry. I don't get. Do you want to be placed under arrest? I want to know. Is there anything I can say or do? Yes. To you to I want you to give me the proper penal code, the proper violation I that I did. committed. But you cannot pull me over if I'm not driving, sir. Hand me your driver's license. You cannot pull me over if I'm not driving. Am I correct? You are going to be placed under arrest. Okay. You're Put not... your hands behind your back. Here, I'll give you my license. If Put you're going to. Put your hands behind your back. Sir, Turn I'll around. give you my license. Please do not arrest me. I will give you Turn my license. You're under arrest. Wow, dude. Are you serious? Let me put my phone in my pocket. Let me put my phone in my pocket. Okay, guys. I know what you're thinking. He caved at the end, right? He caved. Wanted to give up his ID. But let me remind you that many, many auditors have given up their IDs and uploaded that content on YouTube. So I give this guy props for having the courage to share the video with the community. You know, to show sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. That's life, right? That's life, but you live to fight another day. And maybe, you know, the guy just didn't want to get arrested, okay? Like many of the auditors, some days they just do not want to get arrested. Just they, you know, just, I guess to say they're just not in the frame of mind to be arrested, to carry it all the way. But like I said, I give the guy props, man, and I subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys will go there, comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. But I, I tell you what, I don't care who you were that day. You were not going to get past the Pillsbury Doughboy cop. You just were not. He just wanted to arrest this guy, put him in cuffs, and feel that power that he needed to feel, as most cops do. They want to feel that power of putting another person in shackles. You know, there was another time people felt that way. Remember those days, way back when, when there was a certain race of people 
in chains and shackles. Well, that's the way cops are today, too. And it doesn't matter if they're black, white, or whatever. They want to feel that power. Because a man or a woman wants to feel that power over someone else. And the Pillsbury Doughboy cop wanted to feel that power. Wanted to feel like he was in control. He's in control of the situation, right? He's going to tear this guy down, slap handcuffs on him, and treat him like a dog for however long. So like I said, I give the guy props. Even though he caved at the end, but hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But you live to fight another day. That's what's important. This is the Radical Reactor. I'm out.